reported that they successfully hunted down and defeated a cell of the White Tiger Gang, who allegedly were hiding deep in the Lautan Lama Desert. President Panay commended his men on the success and stated that he himself would like the honor of peeling the skin of the skull of the White Tiger leader when caught. Okay, I just want you to hear that. Alright, here we go. I am Alpha One, Kili Squen, and 00112233411 to all of you out there. <clears throat> okay, this video is intended mostly for my friends, so if you guys don't find it appealing, well, I'm sorry. I'm just showing this as some, uh, some things you can do in the game and all this stuff. Now, I'm here in this game, this, uh, big open world here. Let me show you right here. All of this, well, you can even go into some of this water here, but here we go. And, uh, I'm working for the Reapers. That's my main faction that I'm helping out. There are other factions I can help out. You got the Reapers. You have the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Roaches. And, uh, two more, actually. You got the Ular Boys. And I believe there's another one, but I don't remember what that is. So, maybe it's just those three. Either way, it doesn't matter. So, this is all the land here. All these orange... Uh, yellow dots are settlements that I haven't been to, places I haven't been to, villages and all that stuff. These are military bases that I've gone to. This is my area. Now, this flag right here, this is where I want to be. Now, this is the broadcast that comes on every once in a while. Reports of random raids on tourists are not true, according to the Panau Office of Internal Prosperity. <laughs> the missing government officials from last week still remain missing and are likely to continue to be missing. But the citizens of Panau are cautioned not to be alarmed at all. The rumors of chaos in the streets are exaggerated. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a black market dealer because that's what you can do here. Alright, hold on. Now look, this is what you got. You got a black market dealer. Who comes in, flies in his helicopter, blah, blah, blah. And nobody really cares. And this is what you got here. Sorry, I can't get the screen from top to change. You got equipment. Vehicles, and you can extract the location. Now equipment. I like how I said equipment. Okay, now equipment right here. You got your grenade, pistols, all these weapons right here. A lot of these are locked right now because I haven't worked too far inside the game. Uh, do you see here on the bottom? I got my money, 209498 Uh, it costs weapon, weapon, uh, not points, weapon parts and vehicle parts to upgrade weapons and vehicles, uh, obviously. Uh, you can find these anywhere from the settlements to the military bases to usually anywhere. Alright, now here we go. Weapon parts. 17. That's something I have. I need 20. I love the pistol in this game. You got your vehicles right here. Your jets, your boats, your ATVs, and all this stuff right here. I'm going to extract here just so I can show you what it's like. Okay, holy, holy, here we go. I'm going to for the location, which I'm basically already at, but you ruined it by talking at the video. Cool. Here we go. Here. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. You got your skydiving ability, why not? Where am I gonna go? I know exactly where I'm going. I'm gonna fly this way. Oh yeah, and parachute. Woo! Okay. Now I'm flying through here. I can go up, left, right, obviously. Pull out my gun. Bam, bam, bam. Take some of this, right? This right here is a small, small, small airfield. But I'm gonna go for it anyways, simply because I like it. Here we go. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call in my vehicle. Alright? Actually, no. Let me show you the capabilities here. Now, you see me standing here, right? I got my pistol. I got my submachine gun. Fragmentation grenade. Otherwise, you know as frag grenade. And my assault rifle up here is my map, my uh, thing here. Health goes up to here. But uh, you need health kits to, to heal you after you've taken substantial damage. Over here will show how much heat you've acquired, which is kind of like in Grand Theft Auto or other games, you know, how many people are coming for you, or how much. you got your map here, your base, your roads, your thing, but you can't exactly see it too much, so here we go. Sorry, just shake the screen here, let me move this back here. All right, now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to call in the black dealer. I'm going to run over here, show you some hardcore sprinting. What can't you do here that you can do in... Well, you can't do a mercenary too. Well, you can roll. Oh, 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 can you roll there? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh, this back over here. Oh, this back over here. Bam, bam. You got your grapple, okay? Look at this. Grapple. I have my grapple here. I'm holding on to the left bunker. It's very easy to use. Let's say I want to grab it onto two objects. Bam. I now got this piece of ice grabbing onto this piece of ice. I can take it off at any time, just like that. 
that's useful for if you, let's say you got something stuck somewhere, you want to attach it to that, pull it on a truck or something, back up in the truck, right there, at the plane right there, <laughs> which you can fly in this game, unlike in Mercenaries 2 here, and this is what you're going to do, okay? I'm going to run over here, I'm going to sprint over here, <sighs> it doesn't look fast, but trust me, it's fast compared to just running. La, 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 la. Okay, so I'm going to do You can use the grapple, and I can basically parachute at any time. I grapple, I get speed, bam, I pull out my parachute. I can use this any time. I want to gain speed, I fire my grapple, I start pulling myself towards it. Sorry, I messed up. Start pulling myself towards it, bam, and I'll gain speed. Guess what? I'm now really high. Or well, not really high, but I'm now higher. Here we go. So, this is what I'm going to do. You can skydive from anywhere that's a high location. If I jumped out now, I'll start skydiving. You can climb up this mountain by using your parachute, okay? So let me use this parachute, climb up my mountain here, yeah, which I messed up and fell down on twice. As you can see here, the only thing I don't understand is how I can be up here in these closing, in this closing, and uh, not be freezing. Now, let me get up to a better location. Oh, this is the best I can do for now. Here, let me fly lower so this isn't covering the way of life. Actually, how about this? I'll show you what it's like inside the copter, inside the thing, so you can enjoy it, the view. Look at this. Bam! Skydiving down. Ooh. Yeah! Here we go. Coming in for a landing. And... Here. Okay. I'm going to show you what it's like out here. Let me use the black market dealer to call in me a jet. I'm going to skip his talk because I want to be in the interest of time. Vehicles. This right here. Pell Cyberbolt 6. Cost $30,000. It's not cheap. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Bam! Vehicle is now here. Any vehicle in this game, you could stunt jump on. B, you press it, you can stunt jump on. I could stand in this while we're flying around, while I'm going up, while I'm going down. I can't do it on the sleeve. My, the back is facing the ground. If I turn too much, I'll also fall off. Normally for other vehicles, you can like jump around. Like, for example, if I'm on the helicopter, I can jump on the bottom and grapple on, or I can jump in the front, shoot the people around it, and then I can hijack it. From here, I jump in, bam. Bam, get ready. Three, two, one, blast off. Bam, here we go. I can immediately, I can open my parachute at any time in this vehicle. I can take off. Now, Julio, let me show you how beautiful and big and hardcore this land is compared to Mercenaries 2. As you can already see, all of this, these mountains, these mountains, this river, these grass, these trees, all of this, all of it. Here, let me get to a better angle for you. Let me pull up right here. Okay, I'll show you this hardcore land. And, and uh, while I'm at it, let me jump into stunt speed really fast. So you can see, yes, I can stay at this speed. I don't know how, I'm that good. So look at that. Look at that. All of this. That all the way over there, that blurriness over there, that, that city, all these places, this big mountain, these islands, water, all of it. Here, let me fly better. Here we go. I'll show you what I mean. Ah, crap. Sorry, I keep on hitting it. We flying low and, and beautiful for you. Whee! Now, all these places, they look kind of small from up here, but they're all big. This is a big location. If I was down there, it would be big. Okay? This bridge is a bridge. It's a big-sized bridge. You cross it. Here we go. Crossing it. The water looks great. You can't see it as well as I can, but it does look great. You got your land. You got your sky. You got the different times of day. Let me press the back button real fast up here. It tells you 11:02 a.m. It tells you the time. Okay. You got your grass. You got your land. All of this you can get onto. You can fly around. You can enjoy your life. Okay. I might have to pause this video in a second. That way I can. Uh, make this again here. I'm going to continue showing you though. Okay, you got little boats down there as you see there. A few boats going around. Okay, beautiful land, beautiful world, hardcore flying ability. I can go anywhere. Doesn't look like I'm going too fast, but compared to uh, not moving at all, trust me, I'm moving fast. Alright, now how about this? I've never been to the city, so I'm going over to the city. Okay, I'm not just going to go to the city, I'm going to fly into the city, 
I'm gonna fly low in the city while stud j jumping onto this vehicle. First, I'm gonna gain some speed, get over there. You should fly this camera around so you can see the hardcoreness of this world. Look how big this is. Look how big this place is. It looks pretty small, you may say, from the angle, from the flying or whatever, but when you actually get down on foot and you're running around for like 20 minutes on the same place, clearing an area. Look at this. Oh, wow. An oil rig. I didn't even know they had oil rigs in this game. Ho, ho, ho. They look a lot smaller than the Mercenaries 2 oil rigs. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Look at that oil rig. And it's pretty big. It looks small, but it is a big place. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go on there. Here we go. Let's fly this thing around. Unfortunately, it's going to cost my plane. Actually, let me show you one more feature before I end this video, okay? Look down at that land, then look smooth. Okay, I only have a few minutes. I don't know how when I started this video, so I need to do this in the interest of time. I need to get to some small or hopefully I'll show you. Okay. Here's one thing that I have not been able to see in any Ace Combat Six or Air Force game or anything. Right here. Okay? The ability to land on trees no. The ability to land anywhere. Look at this. Bam! I'm hitting all these trees, I just crashed horribly died. But... But... <laughs> I landed. Okay, I'll show you what happens next in this next video. Here we go. Here's Apple 1.